it looks like my glorious good luck continues. I mean, somehow, once again, I have been blessed with my PC breaking. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, I've got to laugh. It's the only way to keep my sanity. So welcome back to another channel update video, guys. Uh, once again, sadly, bringing some bad news. My PC has broken again. I'm not even joking. <laughs> right, so long story short, for those of you who just want a summary of what's going on, um, PC is broken, it's getting picked up tomorrow, being sent back for free repair or replacement by scan. It should be gone for at least seven days or more. I do have a backup machine to use, which is my mum's laptop slash tablet PC. So I can render and upload using that. I will not be able to live stream through any computer, but I can possibly live stream through PS4 uh, if I choose, if I do have time. Uploads might be affected um, less regular, possibly some schedules out of whack due to this because my mum's laptop tablet does take like two hours or more to render each video and then obviously I've got to get them up onto YouTube. So that's the long story short. Um, for those of you who want to hear the full story, here we go. Fasten those seatbelts. <laughs> so back in July... My PC had major issues. Um, I turned it on and it would not go into Windows. It entered some kind of weird restart loop. Nothing we could do fixed it. We went through the customer support live chat and we couldn't fix it with the guy talking to us there. And we decided to send it into scan. Now, it went into scan um, back in July, latest July, I guess. And it was gone for quite some time because I didn't get it back till August. Um, I think the first Thursday in August seems to ring a bell. Anyway, it was gone for quite a while. It was almost two weeks, I believe, if I remember. Because um, I'm only home for like four days each week. And I remember having two periods of me being home using my mum's laptop tablet. So it must have been almost two weeks that it was gone for. Anyway, they said it was memory failure, so they just replaced all of the memory in my machine. They stress tested it and it worked. And for a while there, it was good. Um, I got it back, set it all up, had no problems whatsoever. Perfectly working fine. There was a silver lining. I thought everything was going to be okay, but I was wrong. <laughs> so anyway, um, I came back from my boyfriend's yesterday. And I turned my PC on at the back where the switch is for the power supply. And oh my God, I jumped back. There was a loud bang and a flash, which is not fucking good. <laughs> so that was concerning. I didn't smell any burning or see any smoke, but trust me, it was a really loud bang, enough to make me jump back. Um, so I turned on my machine and then once again it was the same issue as last time. It hangs on Windows, uh, the Windows loading screen, uh, sometimes even on the Gigabyte motherboard loading screen it hangs on and we've lost the overclock again so there's that. Now because this is the same issue as last time this makes me believe that the culprit all along was the power supply and I'm just wondering if that last time what happened is it caused some kind of surge and damaged components within my PC. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So basically with the return, what I'm doing is I'm returning the power supply for a brand new replacement because obviously after that I don't fucking trust it. Um, and I'm also returning the main bundle from Scan, which is the motherboard memory ram and uh, the cpu so that's being returned to get tested and make sure it's not damaged because obviously after that loud bang and flash there's a possibility of that i'd say the possibility is pretty darn high so i don't want to risk simply replacing the power supply on my machine and then having to then return something else later and be delayed even more it's just quicker to just return those parts straight away and make sure um, <clears throat> nothing has been damaged essentially so there's that and for 
a little bit of extra information. When we dismantled my PC today and boxed it all up, we had a look inside the power supply and oh my god, it looks like something has exploded. There's weird white gunk everywhere. I mean, my boyfriend um, said to me that that can be a little bit normal, but this was just everywhere within within the power supply in places that shouldn't be. It just looked like an explosion within the power supply. So I do think <laughs> basically the power supply is fudged. So yeah. So I think I'm doing the right thing sending it in. Um, to be honest, it's all under warranty and if I can help it, I don't want to pay any money. So obviously the better solution is to just send it in and get free replacements and repairs because my warranty runs out in November. So I may as well go ahead and do that. So that's about it. Um, for reference, the PC is connected to a surge protector. So it is protected. So this is the other reason why I think it was a faulty power supply all along because I'm using a surge protector so what else could be the issue other than a dodgy power supply to begin with so I just think it's had that ripple knock-on effect and it's damaged other components within the machine um I mean I'm not I'm not like totally tech savvy when it comes to PCs but I'm just throwing out my theories here and there so it's all ready to be picked up tomorrow um other than that, as I said, I do have my mum's laptop tablet to fall back on. Now, it isn't the best machine, but I'm really grateful to be able to use it. So shout out to Mumsy. Thank you for that. Um, it does take a long time to render videos. It takes about two hours or more per video. So this is why I said earlier that some videos may be impacted. They may not be on the same schedule as normal. So please bear that in mind. Um, I cannot live stream through that machine. It's just not capable of that. Um, I'm not going to use my dad's PC whatsoever. So basically, if I want to live stream, the only way I can do it is through the PS4 itself, which could happen because the, the Tomorrow Children's out soon and I did want to do a live stream of that. So that could still happen, but it will just be through the PS4 itself. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Other than that, I am pretty much covered with Monster Hunter till the end of the month. Trillion, I've recorded up to episode 109. Now, with Trillion, I'm going to be changing the schedule, and that's not just to do with what has occurred with my PC, it's also to do with loads of other things which I've been mentioning on Twitter over the past few days. Um, there's going to be changes to my channel and I'm slowly going to start implementing those now. I want to kind of cut back on uploads a bit. I am doing too much. It is causing me health problems. It is causing me stress. There's various other problems with my channel as a whole, which I won't get into now because I don't want to talk about that just yet. I want to wait till January and reevaluate my channel. But just know that... Um, my channel is going to go through a little bit of changes before the end of the year. I'm probably going to try and upload less frequently when it comes to long ongoing Let's Plays. New games will probably be as soon as possible and then go on a schedule, um, which the schedule may change if interest drops and stuff like that. So it's just going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. But dropping back Trillion to one every two days rather than one every other day will greatly help me out when it comes to workload so it will mean I have more sp spare time and time to relax so that's why I'm doing that and also in general which may alarm some people Trillion could get dropped if I'm being honest because next month is absolute chaos when it comes to games coming out I'm going to be getting playstation vr with some games there's like four other games due out that month on top of that it's like a 600 pound month for me which is just a lot <laughs> in terms of spending um so yeah i just need to take a step back and consider what's going to do well on my channel and really think about what you guys are going to enjoy so there's that um other than that, I don't think there's much else to talk about. Just uploads will be a little bit affected. I'm going to try my best to get content up as soon as possible. And hopefully I have my PC back up and running in 
less than two weeks fingers crossed so we shall see um i'm just glad that the guy over at scan was so helpful and has initiated this return so quickly i mean it's being picked up tomorrow i can't grumble at that so a big shout out to him he's been awesome thank you josh <laughs> you were very helpful so he's probably never going to watch this but i don't care i'm i'm really grateful to him for being so quick and helpful on that chat and uh understanding as well i mean it is alarming power supply having a loud bang and flash i mean that's why he was just like no we need to get these parts in we need to get them locked out because something could have been damaged so even he said it was better to send the pieces in so i just followed that advice because it is good advice um so yeah i'm not gonna lie i've been very down with my channel recently and stuff like this doesn't help it did pile up on me yesterday and i'm not ashamed to admit it but i did have a little bit of a breakdown yesterday and i did get upset um because i just feel like everything's going wrong recently I'm trying so, so hard with my channel and my content. I'm trying to engage with you guys. I try to make sure I'm active in the comment section, replying to people, um, asking questions in my videos, commenting on things. Um, you know, I try to make sure my stuff is high quality. But then, you know, and it's not, it's not your fault, guys. It's honestly not your fault. It's YouTube has changed so much over the past two years the way they work out search algorithms and stuff like that it has greatly impacted my channel youtube red youtube gaming has greatly impacted my channel i'm getting half the views that i was getting compared to last year um which is really alarming when you're running this as a business so there's that as well anyway i didn't really want to get into that too much but i just want to be I like to be as open and transparent with you guys as possible because I do feel like that's important. Like, a lot of people go, oh, you're only talking about the negatives. It's like, yeah, but it's the truth, though. I'd rather tell people as it is and tell people what's going on than just go, I don't care. I don't want them to know. I think it's really important to have that connection with you guys and let you know what's going on in my life and with my channel and why these changes are happening because at the end of the day my channel is a partnership with you guys it's important that you guys are in the loop and you guys enjoy my content because without you guys there wouldn't be a channel so you know anyway i'm sorry this has gone really ranty now um that's it pc's gone away for repairs hopefully we'll be back in less than two weeks um content shouldn't be too much affected uploads may be a little bit less than normal but you still will get videos I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Um, take it easy, and I hope to see you in the comments section of my videos. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your support. It does mean a lot to me, guys. I really appreciate it. See you later, guys. Take it easy.